Capricorn. I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you so much love and light and just want to say thank you for being back here with me for another love reading. So this is for November. Let's take a look and see what is coming your way in love. What messages will we receive from spirit? If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn. This is Passion Heart Tarot. And if you guys are here to cross watch, welcome, for, you know, for your moon arising. Don't forget to like the video, guys. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. All right, Capricorn. Before I begin the reading, just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what is coming in for your love life in November. So I definitely see where your hard work is paying off. So if you guys have a, like decided to see a connection through, it's it's important for you to know that that was the right choice for you to make because I just see where um, something that you waited waited for maybe like certain balance between you and a person maybe maybe this person has tried your patience and like you've learned a lot in the connection about tolerance and things like that maybe even like how to set up your own boundaries where you haven't before i see where all of that is paying off so libra and sagittarius energy is coming through you guys might be dealing with a libra or sagittarius maybe you guys are cross watchers or you might have that moon or rising Capricorn, but it's just like this overall energy of success. Success, like good karma, justice, winning. I mean, this is this is beautiful energy. It really is. So I see the three of pentacles also coming through. It's um, like a bond, something that you two are tied to one another and it's not going to be anything that anyone can come between or that anyone can break. All right, that's really important. And I also see Virgo's energy coming through. So again, same thing. You guys might be cross watchers. You might have that moon or rising. Capricorn so it's important for you to know like if you just feel like something has required a lot of effort on your part and it feels like it's been a, a, a long road to to get the kind of success that you want in your connection or in your love life I see where it's just like all the hard work is coming back to you and it's paying off Okay, that's really important for you to know. I do see this energy of someone, it could be yours or it could be who you are dealing with. And they they have a way of, it's, it's kind of like a guarded energy. And I will say it's guarded because of the way that they have these things that they feel insecure about, but then they try to like disguise it through confidence. But deep down this person, they are dealing with insecurities. So I wonder if you feel like that's your person's energy. I wonder if that is yours or i wonder if you've been someone who's just like wondering um why they do certain things that you don't understand it, it really is because this person although they have a lot to offer like as far as um the, the stability that they can give to someone they're also very good looking but then again they just have like these insecurities within within their self. So I can also see where they're working working on try to working on trying to balance that within themselves as well. Cuz I just see where I wonder if you guys have like sought 
sought the help from an from an outside person. That's what I'm saying because it's like now this person has these actual tools. They have they actually have the tools to work on themselves where um, maybe they didn't know, you know. And I'm not taking their side when I say that, but maybe they didn't like make the connection between their insecurities and the behavior. But I just see where now this person, they've come a long way. They've come a long way. So that's why I'm telling you, if you've decided to stick things out with someone, it really was the right thing to do. Because everything that you gave, you are like that goodness that you gave, that true and sincere effort, putting in your all. I just see so much balance is coming to you. So much justice is coming to you. What you deserve is coming to you. So for some of you, this you know exactly who this person is and you're with them now. And for others of you, it's um like where you've put in effort in other connections and you just feel like uh, maybe it makes you feel a bit insecure. Um, when things um, didn't work out in the past before, yet you know that you have a lot to offer someone, it is important for you to know that, you know, things failed in the past only so it can align you with someone who is right for you, who works just as hard as you, who is as successful as you, who is as patient as you. It's, it's coming back to you, Capricorn, no matter how you look at it, whether you're in a relationship or you're a single, I just see where your hard work is gonna pay off. You know, and for those of you that have invested in other connections that didn't work out and you've been waiting for something beautiful to come to you, you've been waiting for a successful relationship to come to you. I, I just see so much success for you guys. That's important for you to know, bringing you out of like this lonely place, especially for those of you that are single um, and you have felt lonely, it's bringing you into new energy where you feel welcomed, where you feel understood. The person who's coming your way, they do have a lot to show for themselves. I see someone who is an incredibly hard worker, someone who knows that like nothing is gonna be handed to them and they have to work for what they want to achieve. And for those of you that are in a connection, that is also your person's energy of wanting to make things right with you, wanting to give you what they feel you deserve. I can just see where there's so much energy here of waiting, waiting patiently, although that can be very frustrating. I also see Cancer's energy coming through and it's just more emphasis here on the balance. It's here in those angel's hands with the two cups. It's here in these scales. It's here in this chariot, the energy of yin and yang. Like you guys are gonna start to feel very steady with someone. So if you feel like, you know, things haven't always been that way and you do feel like um, you gave a lot and this person hasn't always given you what you wanted, or if you're single, you feel like you gave a lot and didn't always receive what you deserved. Cause I just see this energy here of like being taken for granted, but that energy turning around. And I just see a smoothness coming in for you guys. I see a balance coming in for you. Definitely stability. All right, I, I do wanna look at this King of Pentacles energy. I know where um, for some of you, because of what you've gone through and how you, it's hard for you to trust, I see that. And I see these worries that you have, that you might be left standing there all alone, all alone in your emotions. Maybe you have fears of like um, it not working out or someone walking away because of what you've gone through. And for some of you, you might've gone through that in the connection with this person, having the trust broken like that. What's important for you to know is 
if you did choose to um like maybe you gave it a break knowing that you'd come back to it on um wanting to give it another chance and sticking sticking it out with them i just see where it's it's gonna be something that promotes so much balance that is what i can see now for some of you it's like an off it's like on again off again you might have even chosen to walk away from them to make them step up step up to the plate and i can see that so if the okay so especially for those of you that are in this energy of you've walked away it might be time for you to come back if that's what you want to do because i know where some of you uh, might have been putting things to the test by walking away and if you're still away i will tell you um how much your person misses you how much they are now focused on the success of the connection how much they're focused now on the reciprocity so that's really important for you to know so if you're looking for a sign like if you should like go back to it maybe after giving it some time I just see success for you guys and I see where it like maybe enough time has passed for them to actually learn what you wanted them to, to see what you wanted them to see. All right. Cause it's just, there's so much success that's here. I see things working out. I see where it's all going to work out. Some of you, um, if you if you feel like you're still waiting to feel things out, you still are not exactly sure if you should go back to this after like walking away, right? Because you still feel like um, there could be deception, or you just the trust is is very fragile. Then take your then take the time that you need. Take the time that you need to figure things out. You don't you don't have to rush into any decision. The thing about it that you really need to know is that things are going to be successful and it is going to work out. I know there's like different circumstances different circumstances depending on what you guys have decided to do recently. If you have walked away, it's it's really changed the energy with this person because i can see where some of you are still like no it's something i'm really gonna have to see and that's fine because i know where they want to work hard i know where they want to uh step up to the plate i see all of that energy and for those of you that are single and this is just your energy and you know that you've dealt with um your trust being broken what you have coming your way is a successful connection. So it should be something that um, I hope that you'll allow yourself to like open up and take it and embrace it. Try not to, I know it's easier said than done, but try not to, you know, let the experiences from the past uh, taint, taint this connection or you know, maybe make you look for things within this person as a way of like staying two steps ahead. You don't have to do that here because I just see for all of you the energy of balance and the energy of success because everything is going to work out. Even if you don't choose to go back to it like right now, even if you still feel like you want to give it a little more time and see the effort that this person puts forth, they are going to. They are going to, all right, Capricorn? That's important for you to know. Let's look at that Eight of Pentacles. I can see where um, the the person that you have on your mind is thinking about you so much, especially for those of you that have chosen to like give it a break, walk away, test the connection and see if they do step up. What's on their mind is um, everything that they want to do with you, for you. There's a lot of like happy, happy thoughts in their mind about being able to make things right, even if you are having a hard time now, Capricorn, like seeing the future with this person because you feel there's a lot of 
feelings of um, irresponsibility and maybe feeling like you can't fully trust this person. So it's important for you to know what's going on behind the scenes in their energy and they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about um, how this makes them want to work hard and want to get it right. So if you do choose to go back to the connection, I see it being very successful. And if you feel like you need to take more time, just take more time. Don't rush yourself into anything. Okay, that's really important, you guys, because no matter how you slice it, the, the energy that's coming to you is like balance, fairness, success, like... um. The efforts that you made are really going to pay off. All right, Capricorn. So that is what I can see coming through for you guys for Oct for November. Of course, I'll be back with you all in a few days. Don't forget to check out your reading from last week. Give the video a thumbs up, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. Let me know what's going on. Let me know if you have decided to come back together with this person. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you in a few days.